You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. Oh, yeah. God is my source. Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to another broadcast. It's Friday Night Joy. Amen. I'm your host, Reverend Ray. We are broadcasting alone live on What Christian Speak Talk Radio. We are definitely in the Washington, D.C. area. We do this every Friday. Amen. So we are excited about what God is doing today. You have the desire to call into the broadcast. All right. The number is 646-478-0660. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, my topic today is time to shout with a great shout. And uh, we're coming out of Joshua uh, around the 6th chapter and we're going to do a little bit of that and, and break it down a little bit and have some fun. We're going to play some music, hopefully, because we want you to get your praise on. And man, it's Friday night, y'all. We got so much to be thankful for when we think about how good and how great and how awesome our God is and how he has kept us, you know, <laughs> from all harm, hurt, and danger and clothed in our right minds and you know, even when we may be going through some stuff, God, yes, still has kept us. You know that he loved us that much and he gave his son. We got something to shout about. Amen. So what we're going to do real quick, we'll play a couple of uh, promos and uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Amen. <laughs> When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry, we are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Praise the Lord. We want to invite you to listen to His Abounding Grace with Minister Vanessa Williams, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Challenge to Change with Pastor Paul Morgan every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Declaring the finished work with Reverend Pat Randall every Thursday at 12 noon. Friday Night Joy with Reverend Ray and Prince every Friday at 7 p.m. The Bread of Life with Reverend Ray every Sunday at 7 p.m. Our monthly broadcast is as follows. The Alabaster Box with Prophet Carla R. Johnson every fourth Saturday at 7 p.m. Lifeline with Apostle Shirley Jones as every first Monday at 7 p.m. When Christians Speak Talk Radio welcomes Evangelist Lewis McElwain. He's hosting a program called Adoration at every third Monday of the month at 7 p.m. Midday Glory Prayer with Reverend Gwen Dixon is every Wednesday at 12 noon. The dialing number for that particular show is 641-715-3580. The access code is 732-499. This is a conference call prayer. Amen. Again, Midday Glory Prayer with Reverend Gwen Dixon every Wednesday at 12 noon. The dialing number is 641 641- 715-3580. The SS code is 732-499. Listen to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio. On Blog Talk Radio, iHeart Radio, Speaker.com, all of our broadcasts are available as podcasts through SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes, Blueberry.com, Zoom.com, Stitcher.com, Lisbon.com, and blogtalkradio.com. To listen to our broadcast by phone, dial 646-478-0660. Again, that number is 
478-0660. Go visit and like our Facebook page, When Christians Speak Talk Radio. Also be sure to check out Christians Against Suicide and Depression. It's a page dedicated to sharing God's love, encouragement, and hope. There are prayer warriors standing by to receive prayer requests, doing intercession for those under attack by the lie and deception of the devil. We know that the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. But praise God, Jesus came to set the captives free. Amen. Amen, amen. Welcome back to the broadcast. This is when Chris and Speak Talk Radio. I'm your host, Reverend Ray. We are broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. Area. This is Friday Night Joy. Amen. I do want to add to the, the last announcement. We are also on Podbean, which is another podcast app that's out there. So you can you can listen to us on Podbean. And there's a couple of uh, cell phone apps through Speaker and uh, through some of the other listing networks. Tune in on your cable TV. So we're out there, amen, and we're just trying to spread the, the gospel of Jesus Christ, trying to spread some love to let people know that Jesus Christ loved them, and we're praying for them, and we want them to uh, know those things. Amen? Amen. Well, let's go ahead and get started with the broadcast. Like I said, top of day, today is time to shout uh, with a great shout, you know. Uh, but I don't know about you and everything, um, and when I think about this shout, I'm thinking like that. It's a shout of victory. It's a shout to uh, break down walls. You know, it's a shout to 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 scare the enemy, to let the enemy know that it's for God I live and for God I die. Father God, we thank you, God, for another Friday night joy that you have brought us. So we pray that this broadcast will be a blessing to somebody. We pray, God, that it will touch the uh, the men and the women and the kids and the children, God. We pray, God, it will cross over racial bound boundaries, God, and all these different things, God, that separate us not only from you, but separate us from each other. We pray, God, that it would touch the lives of men, that it would change would take place, that we begin to understand, God, that, that, that we have a responsibility to love and to pray for one another, to uplift, to exhort, God, to encourage, God, to bring forth good fruit with each other, God. So we pray right now, God, that if there be any sick, that anybody that's going through or anyone that's need a healing or deliverance that's listening to this broadcast, we pray today, God, that your miracle power will begin to operate, begin to restore those things with the locusts and the grasshoppers and the palmer worm have eaten, God. We pray for deliverance today. We know that there is nothing too hard for you to do. We will rejoice in you. We will lean, lean on you. Help us, Jesus. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. It's time to shout with a great shout on Friday night, Joe. Let's go ahead and turn to the books of Joshua. This is around the sixth chapter. We can go ahead and and read about Joshua. Uh, the children of Israel is, is, have come out of the wilderness, and, God, and there Joshua has been given the mandate to lead them to the promised land. In fact, they're at Jericho. So let's just start re- reading the Joshua 6 and 1. It says, now Joshua, now, I'm sorry, now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel, and none went out and none came in. In other words, the children of Israel surrounded Jericho. Jericho was a great city, and it was well um, uh, uh, defended. It was well um, surrounded by walls. And, it was and you won't, <laughs> you weren't just going to just walk in there. No, the, the, no there, was some, there was some stumbling block. There was some, a wall. There was a, bl- a blockage there that prevented the children of Israel from getting up to the problem. Let's go to verse 2. It says, And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given unto thine hands Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of Valor. He said, I've given Jericho into your hands, but not just Jericho. I'm a, I've already given. He said, I have given, which means, he listen, I'm talking, I've already done it. You know, I've already done it. And this is what I, I like about this particular scripture because it talks about the promises of God, of yea and amen. It's already done. And sometimes we have a tendency to forget. When God say, say something that he's going to do it, his word would not return to him anymore. He's going to do exactly what he said he would do. He said, I have, I have given into thine hands, you know, Jericho, and the king thereof, 
and the mighty men of valor. I'm not only just going to give you Jericho and the king, but I'm going to make sure I give you the mighty men of valor into your hands, Joshua. Those men that look like they would, they can, they can beat up a million, a, 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 a million people. <laughs> Those men that might be full of strength and they, they might be people that the town, the city may uh, bring reverence to them and respect them and stuff like that because they're strong and they're mighty. He said, I'm going to even give them to you. And, and, and it says, three, verse 3 says, And ye shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go around about the city once. Thus say I do this six days. Six days, Joshua. Here, I love because God is beginning to give them, give Joshua instructions, you know. And this is what I love about God is that he always gives us instructions. If we're listening, he's giving us instructions on what to do next. The Holy Spirit is constantly trying to, no, go, don't do that. Go this way. No, pray. Wake up <laughs> during the watch hour. Wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and pray. I need you to pray for 3 o'clock in the, in the, 3 o'clock in the morning because 3 o'clock in the afternoon, something is going to take place. If you need to have prayer, have prayed during that 3 o'clock in the morning called the watch hour prayer. He said, and you should come past the city, all you men of war, and go around about the city once. Thou shalt thou, shall thou do six days. Six days, yo. And the seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day, you shall come past the city seven times. And the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And the priest shall blow with his listen on the seventh day you can come past around the city seven times. Seven times. Six days, once, seven that on the seventh day, seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpet. Instructions again. God is giving specific instructions what he wants Joshua to do and the people it wants you to do. He says, five says, and it should come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn. When ye hear, when he share, when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, and all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down, flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before. Let me read it again. And it shall come. It shall come to pass. It's coming to pass. Remember, I talked about the promises of God. It shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, I'm giving you more instructions. Here, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. So when, the, when this thing takes place, the, every man is going to go straight. You don't have to go around no obstacles. You can just go straight into the city. Okay? Verse 6. And Joshua, the son of Nun, called the priests and said unto them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram horns before the ark of the covenant, ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, Pass on and come past the city, and let them that is in that is armed pass on before the ark of the Lord. And it came to pass when Joshua had spoken unto the people, that the seven priests bear the seven trumpets of ram's horn passed on before the Lord, and blew and blew with the trumpet. And the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. Verse 9, and it says that, and the armed men went before the priests that blew with the trumpets, and the reward came after their, their ark, the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. Verse 10, and Joshua commanded the people, saying, you should not shout, hey, you should not shout, nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout. Then you should shout. Again, here's instructions, y'all. He said, you should not shout. In fact, <laughs> John said, I don't want you to make any noise with your, with your voice. You know, I don't want you to make any noise with your voice. I don't want any words to proceed out of your mouth until the day. Don't ask nobody no question. Don't do, do anything until the day I bid you. Then you should shout. <laughs> Verse 11, so, so the ark of the Lord come past the city going about it once. And they came to the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose up early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. And 
the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horn before the ark of the Lord went up continuing and blew with the trumpets. And the armed men went before them, but the reward came after the ark of the Lord and the priests going on, blowing with the trumpets. And the second day they come past the city once and returned to the camp. So they did this six days, y'all. They were beating it for six days. Nobody could say anything. There, you know, there was no voice, no noise coming from their voice. There was no words. But see, no, 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 my, they was a beating it for six days doing what exactly what God had instructed them to do. Okay? So then that says to them, well, we got to be obedient to the things that God has given us to do. His church, his people to be obedient towards him. The Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. It's time. It's time for us to be obedient to the things that God has chosen us to do, called us to do. Verse 15, it says, And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven times. Okay, now, on the seventh day, they can compass the city seven times. Only on that day, they compass the city seven times. Another, again, obeying the instructions what God has given them to do. Okay? Obeying the instructions what God had given them to do. 16. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew with the trumpets. Joshua stated to the people, shout, for the Lord has given you the city. <laughs> he said, shout, for the Lord has given you the city. 17. And the city shall be accused, even it and all that are uh, therein to the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot shall live. You, you know why? Because she and all that all that are in her house she did the messages that were, that were sent. Okay? 18. And ye in any wise keep yourselves from the accused things, lest ye make yourselves accused. In other words, don't go messing with stuff. <laughs> Leave things alone. Be obedient. You've been obedient to these. Continue to be obedient to the things that God has given you. You say, and ye in and in a wise, keep yourself from the accused things, lest you make yourself accused. When you take up the accused things and, and, and make the camp of Israel a curse and a tr- and trouble it. In other words, don't do anything you're supposed to be doing. Don't touch nothing. All the instructions that God has given us to do, don't touch nothing, don't take nothing, don't do anything. It says, 19, but all the silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord. They should come into the treasure of the Lord. In other words, the gold and silver, bring it to the house of the Lord. Don't put it in your tent. <laughs> don't do any of those things, okay? Verse 20, all right? So the people shouted when the priest blew with the trumpets. And it came to pass, this is where we're going, when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, talk, <laughs> talk about the people of Jericho, and the people shouted with a great shout that the walls fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the, they took the city. The people shouted with a great shout. We're living in the day right now, y'all, so we got to shout. There's a shout in you that needs to come. That, that God has positioned us all around the world, all around the United States, specific destination position for us and stuff that to shout, to shout against all the enemies of the uh, all the enemies of our soul, to shout out and speak out, y'all, and to cry out loud and spell that against the injustice, against sin that's in the land, against the sin that that's even in the camp, to shout out and to speak out. Even in the churches, those things that are not right. God has given us a mandate to shout, okay, because he wants to tear down walls. He wants to tear down barriers. He wants to tear down anything and everything that goes, that is preventing the glory of the Lord to shine forth. He wants to produce to you the promises of like he, what he said he was going to do from the, from, the start, from the start. The promises that he had for you a good stuff, of a good report, you know, and of a sweet aroma, the promise that he has for you, but there's some things that you got to do that we have to do in order to get to the promises. We have to be able to be obedient to every point that God has given us to do. You know, he said for us to go around the city seven, seven, six days without saying we got to do that. 
You know, <laughs> we got to do it. He says for us not to speak a word. You know, there are times in our life that we don't have to say anything. We let, we let the Lord fight our battle, tell you what to speak. In fact, Jesus said that. He said, he said, open up your mouth and I'll be before you. When you stand before kings and queens, he said, he's the one, the Holy Spirit will reveal to you what to say. This time we don't have to say anything. All we got to do is keep our mouth shut, shut. And I believe that there's a time that Jesus will actually begin to speak to us. And when that time comes, the words will come pouring out of you. And you'll be like, what is that? Where did that come from? Because the Holy Spirit is, is working in you. It's a time to shout with a great shout. It is. We are willing and we are ready, God, for the walls of our life, whether it be sickness, whether it be disease, whether it be division, whatever it might be, whether it be racial, whether it be prejudice, whatever it might be, whether it be religiosity, whatever it might be, God, we will shout to the walls of, that divide us as people, the walls that divide us of, of, as mankind, be destroyed. That your glory will be the real. See, the thing that we, 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 we don't realize that when God does work like this, and one of the things that I like about this man is that he ain't just doing it. He's not just doing it for us, but he, he's doing it for all the enemies that surround us. Did you, look, word got out when the walls of Jericho, because Jer- Jericho were considered to be a great city. When the word got out that the walls of Jericho fell down to the point that all they had to do Every man just walked straight into the city. That's an awesome testimony. That will make any enemy afraid, you know, of God's people, of the awesome and the mighty God. And this is what God wants to, wants to do for us. He wants to show us himself. He wants to show us the, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. He wants to show us the price that uh, the, 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 the price that our Savior paid for at the cross, y'all. He wants to reveal all the glory of Christ, all for his namesake that he would get the glory, so that he would get the glory. Isn't that awesome to know that Jesus is with us? He wants us to declare his name. So your shout might not <laughs> be my name, but all of our shouts should be the same. And that shout should be Jesus saves. That shout should be to the glory of the Lord. That shout should be to a point that even the I remember telling the people at Bible study last night that even the enemy is totally confused. That shout should be your praise. That shout should be your prayer. That shout should be your song, your dance, or anything like that. But there has to be a shout. We've been silent way too long. We've been cowarding in our little corner way too long. We've been afraid way too long. It's time for us to possess the, possess the land. It's time for us to possess the city. And I'm talking spiritual, but it's time. It's time for us to step out on faith and to believe God that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. It's time. It's time, y'all. You know, to not get caught up in the world and the world system and everything that's going on in the world. You hear me often that the world is going to be the world. You know, the world is going to be the world, but for them that are called by his name, for those that are called by Jesus' name, he is calling us forward. He is saying for us today, who will stand? You know, who will go into the hedges and highways and compare men and women to come in? Who will go into the enemy's camp, take back Every single thing that the enemy has stolen. Who would go to the enemy's camp, y'all? You know, willing to sacrifice, willing to die for your brothers and sisters and say, and tell them that Jesus loves them. Give them the gospel of Jesus Christ. Who would do that? Who's willing to do that? Whether they be Muslim or Hindu or whatever religion, whether they be atheist or, or whether it be whatever they may be, who's willing to stand up and be counted and say, God, Lord, I go. Send me, you know. Lord, I go. Send me. Who would, who's willing to lay down the sin and, and the, the sin and the weight that so easily beset them? Who's willing to do that? Can you be counted on to shout when the time is re- ready? Can you be counted on to open up your mouth and lift up your voice like a trumpet? 
lift up your voice like a trumpet and declare the wondrous work of the Lord. Can you be counted on to do that? Can you be counted on even in the midst of a storm, even in the midst of chaos, even in the midst of somebody about to take your life and say, Jesus saves? Can you be counted on? Are you one to be the prayer warrior, to be the intercessor, to be the prophet, to be the teacher, to be the pastor, to be the apostle, to be the bishop, to be the lady, to be the clergy, to be everything that God has called you to be? And no. That if you're obedient, that God would be with you. And know that you're obedient, that God is with you. Can you say that? Are you willing? You know, it's time to shout with a great shout. I'm calling on all the shouters out there today. I'm not talking about your dance. You can do that too. But I'm talking about your mouth. Open up your mouth and speak. Open up your mouth and declare the wondrous work of the Lord. Open up your mouth against injustice and, and for justice. Open up your mouth against anything and everything that comes against the, against what Christ is. Open up your mouth against sin in the camp. Sin in your life. Confess it with your own mouth. No. Believe it with your own heart. You know, search, search, search out the Lord Jesus Christ. Search out and find out what he has for you. Because I believe this with all my passion, that all of us have a purpose and a plan that God has for us. I always believe that. Don't know, you know, he spared some of my life. Look, for me, he spared my lives many times and everything. And, I'm, and I know that there's a purpose and a plan that he has for me. And I just want to be obedient to that. Say the same thing. God, let me be obedient to the calling that you have in my life. Not not to get the people to look at me like I got it all like that. No, man, look, I'm mud from the mud pile. I put on my pants the same way any other man do. I have my good days and I have my bad days. But I won't say I won't complain. You know, God is calling us today. Who will live up the banner of Christ? Who? It's time to shout with a great shout. Shout. Glory! God is good. It's time to shout, y'all, with all that was in you. I always tell the people at church, sometimes you got to praise God from a belly praise. A belly praise is when you know that it's coming deep down on the inside of you. It's coming from the essence of who you are because you know what God has done for you. It's time to shout till those walls come down. It's time to shout to a healing uh, be created in the land. It's time to shout, y'all, to bring, go back and get our kids that messed up on drugs and messed up in life and fornicated and adultery. It's time to shout unto God so those things come down that prevent us from getting closer. It's time to shout today and believe that God is God and to have faith in him and to have faith in him and to believe him. It's time to shout that even we ourselves begin to lose, man, those things that should not be upon us. We begin to lose our presumption of sins, you know, sins of omission and sins of commission because they begin to fall off because of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. They begin to go away from us. In fact, God was so mighty, the blood is so powerful that he even take the desire from my heart. It's time to shout and know that our God reigns today. It's time to shout in our households and in our job places, workplaces. It's time to shout, y'all, in the grocery stores, uh, in our cars, <laughs> in the airport. It's time to shout glory in Jesus' reign and not to be afraid of anybody. Some of us, the, the, Bible, said they, the Bible said that they would put some of us in jail for his namesake. Some of us would be persecuted. And that's already taking place all across the world. You got people dying daily all across the world being persecuted because they believe in the son of the living God. They believe that Jesus is the son of the living God. They believe in him. They're dying, man. Heads getting chopped off and stuff like that. Getting beat up, getting locked up in prison. It's happening daily. Getting persecuted. You got people walking to the churches and killing people because they're Christians. It's time for the people of God, those that are called by, the, by, the, by his name, to humble themselves and seek after, the, his, seek after his face. You know, to lay down the sin in the way and seek after the things of God. It's time, y'all, for us to shout today. 
you know, to stay focused on him and know that God is with us and to know that God is with us. Amen. Let's read this again. I want to read um, uh, verse Joshua 6 and 27. So the people shouted when the priest blew with the trumpet. Came to pass, y'all. When the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people and the people shouted with a great shout. They didn't shout before the sound of the trumpet. Again, there were instructions that was, that was given to them. The wall fell down flat. You know, the, the shout was so intense. The trumpet was so intense. The anointing was so intense and everything. that could no building, could no wall stand in place. Isn't it amazing that the walls fell down flat? You know, <laughs> but there was no opening of the ground. There was no earthquake, but the wall specifically fell down flat. That's amazing. When God does something, he specifically know exactly what he wants it to take place. The walls fell down flat. So then the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. And they took the city. You know, the other thing I want to bring out real quick, and we got to realize this, after you shout, you shout, and you see the victory, you still got to go take the city. After you, after you pray, and you've been obedient to God and all that, you still got to, there still going to be some reaction on your part. You still got to go possess the land. You still got to go take the city. Otherwise, you stand in there looking and the walls fell down, and you might you won't even go into the, the city. You won't even go. Everything is already done. Victory is already <laughs> yours. And you're looking at it, but you won't go into the city. You won't go take the city. You won't go take the city. And God is saying for, for us, y'all, today, shout that the walls fall down and go possess the land. He told Joshua right from the start, right from the start, he said, I've given you this Jericho. I've given you the king, and I've also given you the, the, the men of valor. He told them that. I've given you all of that. You know, I gave you all of that. He told you, Joshua that from the, just from the get-go, but you got all of that, man. You got all of that. All of it is yours. Isn't that amazing? All of it is yours. So where does that leave us? If we're walking and we're doing the things of God, now it's time to go take the city. Now it's time, y'all, to go take back every promises and everything that we missed out on. You know, go take go take back our families, our loved ones that have got caught up in the city. Go take it back, man. Everything that the enemy has ever stole, every lie that he that had ever been told, take it back. Possess it. You know, what Joshua did after the, so they put salt on the, within the city so nobody could ever build again, and they cursed the city. You know, and that's how we, we, we when we God give us a victory, we got to stamp that thing out completely so it can't come back out to hurt us again or hurt us again. We have something that Joshua didn't have. We have the Holy Spirit indwelling in us. So there's more that's in us than ever before. We have to be bold now. God is saying for us to be bold. Amen. God bless you. We're going to get out of here. Let me have prayer with you. Father, we thank you for the shout. So we shout today, God. And we the priests blow the trumpet. The pastors, the bishops, and apostles, God, are in position. The musicians are in position and in place, God, to be obedient. The people are in place to be obedient, God, and listen to what you're saying. The walls will fall down. And when the walls come, God, allow us to go walk every man, every man, Lord Jesus, straight forward to possess what you said that we shall possess. We thank you in advance, God, that we know that you are involved with our life, Jesus. We thank you in advance. We do say, we do pray, we do say thank you. Amen and amen. Amen. Listen, 
Um, if you listen to this broadcast, there's a couple of things I want to remind you of. Amen. On this Monday, Monday, on Mon- I'm sorry, on the Sunday, amen. Well, my days are all mixed up. <laughs> this Saturday, this today is Friday, so on Saturday, amen, um, July the 30th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., I want you guys to meet me in Baltimore, okay? Uh, we are excited of what God is doing, amen. Um, it's it's the, the making of a, of a prophet tour by Apostle Dewan Holmes Rollinson, amen, from 10 to 4. They have something going on tonight, but the conference um, the conference and the tour starts on tomorrow. There's still time for you to get your tickets, amen. All you got to do is go to www.themakingofaprofit.com, amen, www.themakingofaprofit.com, amen. So there's still time to get your tickets and everything. Um, I'm excited about what God's going to do at this place, amen. I had an opportunity to um, interview Apostle DeWan last week. You can listen to that if you go back to Blog Talk Radio or to WhenChristianSpeak.com or any of the other different um, media that we are affiliated with, amen. But this is an awesome moment of God, amen. I'm excited about boarding myself. You're in the bottom of Washington area, uh, you want to travel, Amen. You can do that. You can find out more information by going to the making of a prophet dot com. Amen. The making of a prophet dot com. So there's still time to register. Amen. Um I want to encourage you to do that. Also I want to um real quick talk about a young lady. Let me see if I can find a page. Amen. Here we go. Amen. Prophet Tori Brown was with us last Friday. Amen. And I was excited about doing, amen. And she has a book out called Leadership Rejection. Um, it's just a test to the obedience of call um, by Prophet Toriana Brown. You can go back and listen to that broadcast also. Um, the book is on Amazon.com, and it's 99 cents, y'all. You can't beat that price. It's an out, outstanding book. I did get a chance to read it, amen. Um, I would encourage you to go and check the book out, read it. It is more or less get, tells her testimony um, about leadership rejection and how God brought her through. And she also gives you some points, um, some highlights on what you can do too. But I want to encourage you to go and download the book. Leave, leave a review on Amazon.com. It's just, it's just some love. Amen. And that's Prophet Toriana Brown. Amen. Um, I want to encourage you that on Monday we, we have a broadcast. Amen. Um, with Apostle Shirley Jones. It'll be lifeline. It will be pre recorded. Amen. But um, it's going to be outstanding. So make sure you tell somebody to come and join us. And then again, also, we have a broadcast on Sunday with the Bread of Life. Not sure what we're going to talk about yet or whether we have a guest, but we're going to just um, go forth with that. What we're going to do now. Uh, with that all um, hearts and minds and clear, I want to thank you for listening. I want to encourage you to you can listen to us on, on iTunes or different platforms. Um, look, y'all, look, all we're doing here is spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Our desire for you, amen, is have success in all that you do, but more than that, to know that God loves you and that he's with you, amen. Amen. So let's go ahead and um, play out a couple of um, promos and we're going to get out of here. Amen. God bless you. Love you much. Listen to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio. On Blog Talk Radio, iHeart Radio, Speaker.com, all of our broadcasts are available as podcasts through SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes, Blueberry.com, Zoom.com, Stitcher.com, Lisbon.com, and BlogTalkRadio.com. To listen to our broadcast by phone, dial 646 478-0660. Again, that number is 646-478-0660. Go visit and like our Facebook page, When Christians Speak Talk Radio. Also be sure to check out Christians Against Suicide and Depression. It's a page dedicated to sharing God's love, encouragement, and hope. There are prayer warriors standing by to receive prayer requests, doing intercession for those under attack by the lie and deception of the devil. We know that the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. But praise God, Jesus came to set the captives free. I'll pay 
Praise the Lord. We want to invite you to listen to His Abounding Grace with Minister Vanessa Williams, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Challenge to Change with Pastor Paul Morgan every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Declaring the Finished Work with Reverend Pat Randall every Thursday at 12 noon. Friday Night Joy with Reverend Ray and Chris every Friday at 7 p.m. The Bread of Life with Reverend Ray every Sunday at 7 p.m. Our monthly broadcast is as follows. The Alabaster Box with Prophet Carla R. Johnson every fourth Saturday at 7 p.m. Lifeline with Apostle Shirley Jones as every first Monday at 7 p.m. When Christian Speak Talk Radio welcomes Evangelist Lewis McElwain. He's hosting a program called Adoration it's every third Monday of the month at 7 p.m. Midday Glory Prayer with Reverend Gwen Dixon is every Wednesday at 12 noon. The dialing number for that particular show is 641-715-3580. The access code is 732-499. This is a conference call prayer. Amen. Again, Midday Glory Prayer with Reverend Gwen Dixon every Wednesday at 12 noon. The dialing number is 641 641- 715-3580 The SS code is 732-499 You're listening to When Christian Speak Talk Radio A platform for Christians to talk about the gospel of Jesus Christ Missions and other topics related to Christian living And services to the community The views, opinions, and positions expressed by host and or guest Speakers on any given broadcast does not necessarily reflect or represent the views, opinion, and or official position of When Christian Speak Talk Radio. Attention all singles, married, divorced. Christian Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry. We are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. Yes, he is good. 